Well, uh, you could get into a beast flight path, uh, and they're so poorly engineered, or maybe that when they beat their wings to create that, I guess it would be a downdraft to stop their momentum, it brings their uh, ass end forward. So to, if they're flying like that and they want to stop, they beat this way and their, their, their rear end comes forward and so they attach that as a stinger. And if you're in the flight path and they can't stop, then that's the first thing that hits you. Now they're not trying to do that, they're trying to avoid you. So that's, that's about 50% of, of bee stings. Uh, the other 50% of bee stings are, well, there, you know, there's uh, starving bees, bees that are acting very aggressive over your Coca-Cola. And that means that they've run out of food uh, in, in nature and so now they're going to fight you for your sugar because again they don't have fear and you're much bigger. Uh, so that's a way to get stung. Uh, I mostly get stung by putting my hands or elbows or something or laying. When I was with Courtney I got stung on the butt because that's, I was on my back and I scooted in and that's where the bee stung me. But we still got that beehive and it wasn't, you know, it was okay. Probably needed to be stung in the butt. Now the final way is motion. Uh, uh, bees target motion. Uh, if you come within, I think it's 12 feet of their beehive, they can target you. Uh, and if you keep coming towards their beehive, uh, then they pass word through electrical impulse back to the queen that says uh, there's an intruder. Uh, so uh, about 12 feet the bee sends uh, the guard bee sends signal back to the queen that there's an intruder uh, depending on which genetics the bee has the information comes back to uh, attack uh, between 45 and a minute and a half and so you have to have a deterrent in that time period uh, and usually because the response from the queen is coming back up as a smell uh, so a pheromone to attack uh, uh, to defend, to etc. And so the queen sends her pheromone up and so you have 30 seconds to alter uh, that pheromone. So that's smoke. The reason beekeepers use smoke is because they can stop the smell of the queen's attack signal before it gets to the 10,000 bees that are going to come attack you. So that's the ways to get stung is, is uh, uh, you either walk on their hive or they're trying not to run into you or they're fighting for food. So, so whenever you're sitting at a picnic table and you, if a bee's flying in a kind of a lackadaisical figure eight, uh, there's no threat, there's no sting, there's no anything on that bee. But if a bee is fluttering in front of you like a, uh, like a shitty driver on I-35, uh, then, uh, then it's aggravated and irritated and it's, and it's either in a starvation mode, uh, but it's definitely gonna be fighting you for the food that you have.